Right now on Good Morning Northwest, new details on the apartment fire in Kennewick that displaced 24 people. What we know so far. And gas price, we have a story on gas prices coming up with our very own Austin Reed. That's on the way. Plus, meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full forecast. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good Morning Northwest on your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Riley Fitzgerald. It's 5 o'clock on Monday morning, April 1st. Let's check in right away with your forecast with meteorologist Tiffany Savona. Tiffany, what can we expect as we're waking up this morning? Good morning, Riley. Hopefully everyone had a great Easter weekend. The weather was fantastic. Temperatures have dropped into the 30s and 40s this morning, so another chilly start out there. Across the board as you're heading off to work on this Monday, 46 in Tri-Cities, 47 at Hanford, 47 Toppenish, 43 Walla Walla, a little bit colder in Hermiston, 35 and 34 degrees in Yakima. Winds are fairly light. We do have a few high-level clouds moving in from the north, but we are going to keep it dry today. High pressure will keep us with a lot of sunshine and the warm up continues. So temperatures will be starting off in the 40s around 8, 9 o'clock this morning, rising into the 60s around lunchtime. 72 in Yakima today, 72 we're forecasting in Tri-Cities. Walla Walla close to 70, we'll put it at 68 degrees, but everyone will be in the 70s tomorrow. Near record warmth is looking likely, but then big changes on the way. We have rain chances returning and cooler weather returning as well. We'll let you know when those temperatures drop back down into the 50s for highs coming up in a bit. Riley, back to you. Thank you, Tiffany. The Kennewick Fire Department has released more details in an apartment fire that happened Friday. It happened just before 3 p.m. at the Kent Manor apartment complex on 5th Avenue. Fire officials say they responded to the apartments after a fire alarm monitoring company reported the sprinkler system had activated. When crews got to the scene, they found the sprinkler system putting out a kitchen fire. Firefighters then checked to see the fire had not spread, spread further into the walls or the attic. A few of the apartments were left damaged by the water flow, and fire officials say at least 24 people were left without their home. The Red Cross was called in to help people who needed housing and supplies. The Kennewick Fire Department says cooking fires are the leading cause of home fires and injuries, and that you should never leave your cooking unattended. A heads up for drivers this morning, Washdot is planning to close the eastbound ramp from I-82 to northbound 395 in Pasco for roadway repairs. They're also going to be closing the ramp from 395 northbound to I-182 uh, I westbound. That's scheduled today and tomorrow from 9 a.m. until 3.30 p.m. There will be detours in place. But if you have to drive through that area, you will need to plan for delays. The latest numbers show inflation is on the rise nationally and that could mean an even longer wait before Federal Reserve lowers interest rates. The Fed likes to look at the numbers from the Personal Consumption Expenditure Price Index. That was up 2.5% year over year at latest count. The Fed's overall goal is to keep inflation at 2%, which they do mainly by managing interest rates. Now, one of the factors that goes into inflation is how much you're paying for fuel. While gas prices are rising fast all across the country, in Washington, they're going up even faster than the norm. Our Austin Reed talked to a local expert about what's driving that increase. Rod Smith is the vice president of R.H. Smith Distributing, headquartered in Grandview. His family has been in the business of oil and gas since 1947. Well, first off, crude oil is over $80 a barrel, hasn't been that high since October. And then we're moving into summer blend gasoline, so the refiners uh, are producing a grade of gas that is more expensive. It happens every year. The national average for regular unleaded is 353. But for us here in Washington and Oregon, we are a part of the top 10 states with the most expensive gas. Washington comes in at number three, while Oregon is ranked fifth highest. Are there some reasons though for the uptick that maybe the public doesn't realize? Maybe some other reasons why? Well, there's a local one. Uh, 
Do you know the locks on the Columbia River have been closed since mid-January? <laughs> and so there's no barge traffic coming up the Columbia to Tri-Cities where there's normally barges that haul fuel into Pasco. Smith tells me the river is set to open by this weekend and that will hopefully help the supply issue, which could bring prices down a tiny bit, but there's more. Well, recall that the Climate Commitment Act that went into effect January 1st of last year has increased Washington state gas prices, gas and diesel prices by 50, 60 cents a gallon. That law, introduced by Governor Inslee, caps and reduces greenhouse gas emissions from the state's largest emitting sources, allowing businesses to find the most efficient path to lower carbon emissions. There could be one final saving grace for us, though, and that is... Uh, it's an election year, so sometimes that's a good thing for gas prices because they tend to not, not go up as much, but we don't know. As of this morning, the national average is sitting around 351 per gallon, while the average in Washington is 447 per gallon, having gone up 10.4 cents per gallon in the last week. However, Smith also says the war in Ukraine is continuing to impact the global supply. Walla Walla Public Schools is getting nearly $5 million in grants to help pay for more than a dozen new electric school buses. Most of that money will be coming from the Environmental Protection Agency. The district says they've already placed an order of, uh, for 15 buses just like these ones in the Pasco School District, which should start arriving next spring. They're also working on plans to install charging stations for the buses this fall. This, comes, uh, this news comes as the Biden administration is tightening the rules on emissions from buses, commercial vans, and freight trucks. Government tells manufacturers their products, in this case vehicles, can produce a certain amount of total emissions. Vehicle makers can meet the standards how they choose. Options include advanced internal combustion engine vehicles, hybrid vehicles, battery electric vehicles, and hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. The new standards will be phased in gradually, but ramp up after 2030. Researchers at the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory are working on everything from building better batteries to artificial intelligence. One of those projects is also studying local rivers. Our Alyssa Warner tagged along with Earth Science researchers studying local rivers to see how things like wildfires impact the environment. She says researchers have seen some surprising results. That story is coming up in our 6 a.m. hour. And straight ahead on Good Morning Northwest, if you have AT&T, then listen up. Your private information could be compromised. What experts are saying after a massive data breach took place over the weekend. Hit by a big truck in bad weather? There's a law that says truck drivers have a legal duty to use extreme caution when driving in hazardous conditions. Knowing these laws sets my truck wreck team apart. I'm attorney Mariana Morales, the big truck heavy hitter. Big truck insurance companies know that we have the knowledge and experience to get you paid everything you deserve. Hit by a big truck? Our team knows truck wrecks and how to win for you. I'm attorney Mariana Morales, the big truck heavy hitter. The heavy hitter is one for you. Call 853-2222. Bath Fitter does showers? That's right. We offer a wide selection of beautiful and functional showers in all shapes and sizes. We can even convert your bath into a shower. How about that? With our seamless one-piece walls and hundreds of design options, you'll get a beautiful new shower to fit your needs. Guaranteed for life. Bath Fitter's been around for 40 years, and we've been experts in showers for just as long. Get yours today. Bath Fitter. It just fits. Go to bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. What's better than super fresh fruits and vegetables? Yep, you've got it. Super fresh fruits and vegetables on sale. Swing into Super One Foods this Thursday and save big during our 12-hour produce sale. Dole bananas, just 38 cents a pound. Cosmic Crisp apples, just 68 cents a pound. And whole sweet cantaloupe, 48 cents a pound. Super One Foods 12-hour produce sale this Thursday only. Hey, it's better than fresh. Enjoy bowling here at Triple Play, where fun is always in season. 
French fries are fun, which is always in season here at Triple Play. Speaking of fun, did you know it's always in season at Triple Play? Dude, what's with dropping the tagline? The marketing ladies wanted me to push it. What did they offer you? Five pizzas. Gonna share, right? Of course. Triple Play has fun attractions for everyone, including go-karts, mini golf, and many more, all attached to a cozy hotel. Oh, thanks. Mm. Mm. Sometimes it's hard to see past the looming repair and replacement costs all around your house. Finally, you can stop seeing money and start saving money with First American Home Warranty. First American covers the systems and appliances you depend on every day. Air conditioning, refrigerator, washer and dryer, electrical, plumbing, and more. If there's one guarantee in homeownership, it's that things are going to break down. When an appliance or system breaks down, First American sends a trusted contractor to fix it. And if they can't fix it, they will replace it. Members pay low monthly rates with unlimited claims and 24-7 customer service. We've saved thousands of dollars that we've been able to reinvest into our home. All plans include a no-questions-asked money-back guarantee and flexible payment options so you can never pay for covered repairs again. Call 1-800-209-8578. That's 1-800-209-8578. Call now. Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest, sponsored by Windermere Group One. Protect your private information now. That's the advice from experts after a massive AT&T data breach announced over the weekend. The company says it's in the process of notifying affected customers, but Amy Kiley reports experts say it might be worth looking into the hack, even if you haven't heard from the company. Well, this is quite a serious issue. Experts say past and present AT&T users should act now to protect their data. The company says it's investigating how information from 73 million customers got onto the dark web. AT&T says it's now notifying those affected. If you get a letter like that in the mail from someone that you have entered into a contract with, you need to take time to read the letter. If you're not notified, just don't assume automatically that you're safe. You need to investigate this. The breach appears to involve data from 2019 or earlier. It could include names, passwords, social security numbers, birth dates, and more. Once a bad guy has that, a criminal has that information, perhaps they could pose as you and call up one of your bank accounts or health accounts. This former NSA general counsel says if you think you've been hacked, one, reset your password. Two, ask a credit reporting agency to put a fraud alert on your account. Three, consider a credit freeze to block someone from opening a credit card in your name. Any hacker who is, who is both skilled enough and lucky enough to get inside a telecom company is going to find a digital treasure chest. I'm Amy Kiley reporting. The most important thing you can do right now if you are or were an AT&T customer is to keep monitoring your credit report. Coming up on Good Morning Northwest, the solar eclipse is one week from today, and many people are buying solar eclipse glasses to see it, but many of these glasses are fake. Up next is how you can tell if your glasses are real or fake. And meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your first alert full forecast. We'll be right back. Shelby's Floral, your homegrown neighbor with worldwide connections for over 45 years. Shelby's, more than just a flower shop, specializing in beautiful custom arrangements, live plants, silk florals, and home decor. We're unique and we're here for all of life's occasions, all year long. Shelby's Floral at the corner of Clearwater and Edison in Kennewick. Stop by today and let our experienced designers help you with all of your floral needs. Shelby's Floral. Make-A-Wish Alaska and Washington is holding an air miles drive to help grant wishes to local children with critical illnesses. Alaska Airlines will match a portion of the Alaska donations to jumpstart the campaign. And McCurley dealerships want to help get the word out to eastern Washington. Next extra, Colin Farrell is a private eye facing his demons. Does his new show get a thumbs up from his toughest critics, his kids? I know that they said they're tired of seeing you play these bad guys. Next extra. Tonight at 7.30 on Apple Valley News Now. The savings continue with Bymart's latest 16-page savings book. Pick up a copy in-store today. Save $30 on a Next Grill 3-burner gas grill. Member priced at just $149.99. Planters jumbo size cashews and deluxe mixed nuts are $4 off. Now just $17.99. 
plus save on ball 12 count pint size canning jars and lids. Find these savings and more in our latest savings book at Bymart, Northwest employee owned for 20 years. You work hard for your money, and now you can get money back on state taxes you already paid. With the Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. Affordable? Yeah, we got that. Stylish? Got that covered too. Quality? You can bet on it. At Furniture Row, we stock furniture that is value priced, built to last, and looks fabulous. And during the spring into savings sale, find huge discounts throughout the store, like the Reno sofa for only four hundred ninety-seven bucks, the Espresso Dining Group at only four ninety-eight, the Glenwood Bedroom Group now just fifteen seventy-eight, and save a hundred bucks on any Buena Vista mattress, plus four years no interest. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices, guaranteed. The spring into savings sale on now at Furniture Row. The average family throws out $1,500 of food every year. That's a lot. Imagine what you could do with extra cash. There are simple ways to reduce your food waste and increase your savings. It starts with a plan and ends with a little creativity, like turning your unused food into something new. Get tips to reduce food waste and make your dollar go further. Know the cost. Use food well. Visit the website to learn how. Next ET, only we're in France for a VIP tour of Vanderpump Villa. Plus, meet the sexy staff. Very entertaining. Very entertaining isn't always the word I would use. Next ET, tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Fly the Northwest over a state fish hatchery. Apple Valley News Now at 6, Tuesday. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Tiffany Savona. Good morning and welcome back. Hopefully everyone enjoyed their Easter weekend. The weather was close to perfect in my opinion. And if you like the warm weather, well, we're going to warm it up even more today and tomorrow. But welcome to April. It's officially April 1st. And I want to show you some of the averages for the Tri-Cities. Today's average high, 63 degrees. Average low, 37 but notice by the end of the month, our average high jumps into the lower 70s and our average low only rises a few degrees into the lower 40s. And the average amount of precipitation that we typically see during the month of April is a little over a half an inch. This is a few hundredths lower than what we typically would see in March. So not much change from last month as far as precipitation averages go. Temperatures right now are in the 30s and 40s. We do have some clouds moving in from the north. So temperatures have actually risen in Tri-Cities and Connell and Hanford at 44 in Connell, 46 in Tri-Cities, 34 in Yakima, colder there, 44 in Toppenish, 38 in Prosser, and 43 degrees in Walla Walla. All is clear across the region, or I should say dry, because we do have those clouds moving in from the north. But those are just some higher level clouds. It's going to be another beautiful day with high pressure firmly in control in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So high pressure is going to keep us warm and dry today. Now tomorrow that high shifts a little bit more to the east. It's right overhead, so tomorrow will be our warmest day. It will also be our last dry day because we're watching our next storm system offshore. You can see that very large dip in the jet stream starts to bring in some rain as we head into Wednesday. And this is going to be a pattern change. The weather pattern turns more unsettled and it will be turning cooler as we head into the middle of the work week. But today, enjoy the 70s. It's going to be a beauty. 72 in Tri-Cities, mid to upper 60s in the foothills of the Blues. Not bad though, 68 Walla Walla, 67 in Pendleton, 71 in Hermiston, 72 in Prosser, and 75 degrees. Toppin is 72 in Yakima. Tonight, mainly clear and chilly once again. That's what happens this time of year. We get these chilly mornings, but then we warm up pretty quickly during the afternoon. So a, a wide temperature spread, um, if you will. 42 in Walla Walla overnight, 40 degrees in Tri-Cities, 41 Yakima, and 43 degrees in Prosser. Tomorrow, we're going to be near record highs. Look at these numbers. We're talking about upper 70s lower 80s for highs. And let's talk about those records. We'll break it down for you city by city. Tri-Cities, we're forecasting 80. Record high is 82, set back in 1908. That is an old record and it'll be close. Yakima 78, the record 80 degrees will be close there as well. Walla Walla 77, that record of 83 will probably be on the safe side. And look at Hermiston, 79, record 77. So we'll probably 
break that one. So near record warmth tomorrow all across the board. And here comes the cooler weather. Here comes the rain chances. Now rain chances aren't too terribly high, but they will be scattered as we head into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Look at the temperatures. You'll definitely notice that for sure. Highs dropping into the 50s, and then we'll see more 60s returning by next weekend. Yakima 72 today, 78 tomorrow, 58 on Wednesday with a chance for a few showers Thursday and Friday. Walla Walla 68 today, mid to upper 70s tomorrow finally, and then it gets much cooler. We have better chances for rain in the foothills of the Blues Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Hermanston close to 80 tomorrow with those rain chances returning Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Riley? Thank you, Tiffany. And if you plan on watching the eclipse next Monday, a word of warning, fake eclipse glasses are hitting the market. Here's how to tell if your glasses are real or fake. The orange framed glasses at the top are counterfeit. They come with black sunglass-like lenses that have straight left and right edges. Real eclipse glasses like the pair at the bottom have reflective lenses with curved left and right edges. The counterfeit glasses may be hard to spot because they have text and original artwork that makes them appear real. To make sure you're not getting a pair of a fake pair of Eclipse glasses, you can check out the list of safe manufacturers and resellers on American Astronomical Society's website. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, what do Beyonce, Godzilla, and Easter pictures have in common? Well, not much, except that we'll be talking about all of that coming up next in your Hollywood headlines. Hit by a big truck in bad weather? There's a law that says truck drivers have a legal duty to use extreme caution when driving in hazardous conditions. Hit by a big truck? I'm attorney Mariana Morales, the big truck heavy hitter. Call 853 What's up, guys? What I'm about to show you is going to change the way you shave your head forever. You can shave your head in 90 seconds or less. With no cuts or nicks. It's 100% waterproof. It even works in the shower. Introducing Remington's Balder Boss. With increased flex and five dual track floating head design, get over 60% more head coverage for a faster, closer shave and skin close results. No nicks, no scrapes. Fit in the palm of my hand and the results were amazing. Shave in the shower or with any foam or gel with Japanese grade steel blades plow through the thickest of hair anytime anywhere there's even a pop-up trimmer to complete your perfect groove now you can try the remington balder boss in your home for 30 days for just 14.99 complete with a five-year limited warranty and 100 percent satisfaction guarantee you can also get our ear nose and brow trimmer free just pay separate processing and handling give it a try you won't be disappointed order your balder boss now on behalf of STCU, we want to present you with this $1,000 check. Joe McDonald volunteered at the Pasco Aviation Museum, and although he is gone, his dedication to the museum lives on, earning them a $1,000 check from STCU. He was very particular and did all the research, so the information that's in the display cases were, were absolutely accurate. STCU honors volunteers in our community. To nominate someone, click on Volunteers Count at applevalleynewsnow.com. Weather-wise, it's been kind of a strange winter with lots of clouds and more rain than usual. Now it's springtime and we're all looking forward to some great Northwest weather. But a pop-up rain shower or blowing dust can change your plans. So trust Apple Valley News Now. First alert weather to give you plenty of warning of what's headed our way because we want no weather surprises. Trust Stacy Lee and Apple Valley News Now. First alert weather. Apple Valley News Now. First alert weather on your side. Always on your side. Make-A-Wish Alaska and Washington is holding an air miles drive to help grant wishes to local children with critical illnesses. Alaska Airlines will match a portion of the Alaska donations to jumpstart the campaign. And McCurley dealerships want to help get the word out to eastern Washington. It is a nightclub in here. Let's dive. Something's happening to me. From American Horror Story, Emma Roberts. Today at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Hit by a big truck in bad weather? There's a law that says truck drivers have a legal duty to use extreme caution when driving in hazardous conditions. Hit by a big truck? I'm attorney Mariana Morales, the big truck heavy hitter. Call 853 Stacy Lee, she's on your side. Apple Valley News Now First Alert Weather. Welcome back. A monster premiere, Easter photos, and Beyonce branching out pays off. Chuck Syvertson has this morning's Hollywood headlines. 
They don't have to like each other. We just have to work together. Godzilla Kong, the new empire, roaring into theaters with an $80 million opening in ticket sales, according to studio estimates. The monster merger from Warner and Legendary Pictures brought the second highest opening in what has been a big year, falling just short of Dune Part 2's debut. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire falls to second with $15.7 million. What we do, we do for the benefit of all. Dune Part 2 holding in third place in its fifth week in theaters and a domestic box office total of over $252 million. Kung Fu Panda 4 in fourth place with a little over 10 million in ticket sales. Sean Diddy Combs took to Instagram Sunday to wish his fans a happy Easter amid his high-profile legal issues and allegations of abuse and sex trafficking, which he denies. Combs posted photos of his youngest daughter, one-year-old love Sean Combs. Homeland Security investigators raided the music moguls Miami and Los Angeles homes recently. Beyonce's brand-new country-inspired album, Cowboy Carter, now holds the record for the most streamed album in a single day in 2024 so far, says Spotify on Instagram. The 27-song album features stars like Post Malone, Miley Cyrus, Willie Nelson, Dolly Parton, and more. Two singles were released during the Super Bowl as part of a Verizon commercial, 16 Carriages and Texas Hold'em. Chuck Sievertson, ABC News. And finally, music lyrics have gotten simpler, angrier, and more repetitive. That's according to a new study. Researchers compared English language rap, pop, country, rock, and R&B songs from the 1980s and 2020. They found recently released songs are more repetitive and emotional. Songs use more rhyming lines, more chorus, and more anger-related words. The study also looked at which music genres people liked to look up lyrics for. Fans of rap and R&B showed the most interest in song lyrics. Coming up on Good Morning Northwest, a mother arrested in a Snohomish County after her four-year-old son is found dead along I-5, what deputies are saying. Plus new details on the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse in Baltimore where progress is at where progress is at on removing the wreckage. We'll be back with details after this. In today's Tech Bytes, AT&T is contacting more than 70 million current and former customers, all because of a data breach that may have compromised their information, including names and social security numbers. Current AT&T customers' passcodes have been reset, and they're being offered identity theft and credit monitoring services. Beyonce just broke a record with her country-themed album, Cowboy Carter. It became Spotify's most streamed album in a single day in 2024 so far. Her single, Texas Hold'em, was streamed over 200 million times before the album's release. And no joke, Gmail turns 20 today. Google's email service started with what many thought was a joke, announcing a search-based webmail service. It now has an estimated 1.2 billion users. Gmail is marking the occasion by instituting new security measures. Those are your Tech Bytes. I'm Derek Dennis. Have a great day. What does it mean to be rich? Maybe rich is less about reaching a magic number and more about discovering magic. Rich is being able to keep your loved ones close and also send them away. Rich is living life your way and having someone who can help you get there. The key to being rich is knowing what counts. During an asthma attack, every second feels like an eternity. Primatine Mist works fast. It's clinically shown to open airways quickly. Get the number one FDA-approved over-the-counter asthma inhaler, Primatine Mist. Breathe easy again. Want to know a secret? New Secret Outlast. You could almost miss the bus, but smell like you didn't. Secret fights 99% of odor-causing bacteria. Smell fresh for up to 72 hours. Secret works. It's a crime to smell that good. Right now on Good Morning Northwest, a mom arrested in Snohomish County after her four-year-old son is found dead along I-5 in Pierce County. What uh, we have what deputies are saying. And progress on the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. Details on what crews accomplished over the weekend.
Plus, meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full forecast. Good morning, Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest on your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Riley Fitzgerald. It is 5.30 on Monday morning, April 1st. I hope you had a fantastic Easter if you celebrated it. Well, let's check in right away uh, on this morning on your forecast with meteorologist Tiffany Savona. Tiffany, what can we expect as we're waking up this morning? Well, it's chilly out there this morning, Riley, but if you enjoyed the weather yesterday, you're definitely going to enjoy it today as we warm it up a few more degrees and tomorrow we're going to be close to record highs. So right now we're taking a live look at our Legends Casino Hotel Skycam in Richland. Sunrise about an hour away now. It continues to get earlier and earlier with that sunset getting later and later. We do have a few clouds coming in from the north. Temperatures are in the 40s for the most part. 44 Connell, 46 in Tri-Cities, 40 degrees in Dayton, 43 Walla Walla, a little bit colder in Prosser and Hermiston in the mid to upper 30s and 34 degrees in Yakima. Here's what you can expect on your morning and evening commutes. No weather to slow you down. We're starting off in the 40s this morning, so you'll definitely need the jacket. But then this afternoon, you can probably get rid of it. 72 degrees and the wind will be fairly light. It's going to be a great night if you want to eat dinner out on the deck or patio or even want to fire up that grill. Temperatures will stay in the 70s once we get past 5, 6 o'clock and then drop into the 60s before sunset and we'll be in the upper 50s by 9 o'clock this evening. So cooling off rather quickly, but with a light breeze, it's going to be a pretty nice evening to be outside. Near record warmth likely tomorrow. We'll break down those numbers and also have your pollen forecast coming up in a bit. Riley, back to you. Thank you, Tiffany. We start in Snohomish County, where new details have been released in the death of a four-year-old Washington boy. His body was found along I-5 March 28th. Reporter Cornelius Hawker says authorities have now arrested his mother. Authorities believe this is video of Janet Garcia last Wednesday down in Ridgefield, Washington. The same day her family and Everett reported Adiel Garcia as missing. According to court documents, a Clark County Sheriff's deputy responded to a call from someone who did not want Janet at their home. Everett police had already contacted the Clark County Sheriff's Office about the situation. While the deputy interviewed Janet, it was noted there was blood on her shoes and her shirt. She told the deputy her son had fallen out of bed that morning. She tried to take him to the hospital, but the wait was too long. So she left and dropped him off with a friend in Seattle before coming to Ridgefield to get alcohol treatment. She willingly went to the Clark County Sheriff's Office where, according to them, she gave an inconsistent and difficult to follow statement, but insisted Adiel had fallen out of bed and hit his head on the floor. Janet had been staying with a friend in Everett. That friend told law enforcement they came home Wednesday morning and found a lot of blood, but no Janet or Adiel. On Thursday around 6 p.m., Washington State Patrol sent out an emergency alert to everyone's phone to be on the lookout for Adiel, but by that time, it was too late. Shortly after the alert went out, authorities found Adiel's body along I-5 in Pierce County. On Friday, Janet Garcia was transferred from Clark County to the Snohomish County Jail and booked on three charges, first and second degree murder and assault of a child in the first degree. Janet Garcia's mother filed a petition for emergency guardianship of Ariel on March 25th, just days before his body was found. She, uh, she told the court she was afraid her daughter would harm Ariel due to her struggle with alcohol and drug abuse. The Pasco School District is looking for parent feedback on proposed changes to their sex ed program. The district hosted four a four day long open house meetings and gave parents the chance to review the material the district is considering for sex ed classes this school year. The district is hoping to get feedback from parents before presenting their curriculum proposal to the board. The director of instruction at Pasco School District tells us they're working hard to make sure that students are learning age appropriate health and safety topics in school. Sexual health education um, covers a variety of um, topics, including HIV um, and AIDS education um, and um, uh, human growth and development at the age appropriate levels. Um, it also includes healthy, rela um, healthy relationships, 
decision making based on your family values and beliefs. Um, it um, also includes affirmative consent. You can find more about the proposed changes and how you can still offer feedback to the district at applevalleynewsnow.com. The city of Ellensburg broke ground this weekend on Unity Park, a new half-acre gathering space at 4th and Pearl Street. It's located at the former Rotary Pavilion site, which has hosted community events and activities for 40 years. Planning started back in 2018 on the almost $2.7 million project, which is being paid for through federal COVID relief funds. The new park will have open turf area, a performance stage, public restrooms, tables, and chairs. We really want this to be kind of an anchor for our downtown and, and really bring people here, keep them here for long periods of time uh, so they can enjoy the, the local establishments. The groundbreaking happened over the weekend at 4th and Pearl Street. The city is hoping the park will be open by early August. This morning, efforts are underway to clear the collapsed Francis Scott Key Bridge and reopen the Baltimore Port. Crews worked through the weekend to cut and remove portions of the bridge. And Wynn says officials are planning to resume limited ship tra uh, traffic after establishing a temporary channel as more equipment is heading to the wreckage site. This morning, demolition crews urgently dismantling the collapsed Francis Scott Key Bridge. A fourth Navy crane is set to arrive today as they work to clear the channel. Over the weekend, salvage teams hoisted 200 tons of debris out of the Patapsco River in a complex operation which involves cutting and removing the mingled trusses one section at a time. It's not just that you have to remove the wreckage. They could behave almost like a spring if they are not expertly managed. You also, of course, still have the, the ship there alongside the channel. Uh, measures are being taken to stop the, the stern of the ship from swinging into the channel. The bridge seen crumbling last Tuesday when a massive cargo ship slammed into it. Officials say six construction workers were killed with the bodies of two of the victims recovered and four still missing, presumably trapped in a tangle of steel underwater. The captain of the port announcing plans for a temporary alternate shipping route to allow cargo ships to safely circumnavigate the blockage. The lane will be about 265 feet wide, 11 feet deep, and have a nearly 100 foot clearance overhead. Officials hope the new passage will alleviate shipping delays in one of the country's busiest ports. We have to move with a measurement of speed because we have got to get this channel open. The Army Corps of Engineers could not provide a timeline for the cleanup, and officials say dangerous conditions over the weekend made underwater recovery of the remaining victims impossible. The NTSB is investigating why the bridge collapsed so quickly after the crash. President Biden is expected to visit Baltimore this week to survey the damage and see the progress of the cleanup. Nobody won Saturday night's Powerball drawing, sending the jackpot to nearly $1 billion in time for April Fool's Day. Monday's drawing is estimated to win someone $975 million with a cash value of $471 million. Well, no one won the big jackpot. At least four people matched numbers to win $1 million. Saturday marked 38 consecutive drawings without a jackpot winner. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, MPOX cases are rising, and we are not even halfway through the year. Why experts say the U.S. is more vulnerable than other countries. I've been with U.S. Cellular for years now, and I think I'm their biggest fan. So they asked me to tell you about their special customer event, Us Days. Us Days means exclusive deals just for us customers, like up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. So I said, if I'm going to be on TV, do you think I can get hair and makeup? And I even got a manicure, too. Introducing Us Days at U.S. Cellular. Exclusive offers just for our customers. Get up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. <laughs> It's the sale that took the country by storm. Denver Mattress presents the smash hit Spring into Savings with fan favorites like Sealy Comfort for me and better sleep too. And don't forget a free gift for you. Save up till 150. Dusty at the Toys. Get four years now in I'm shipped free. Meta 365 guarantee. But don't wait. Spring into Savings at Denver Mattress ends soon. Oh my gosh. Wow. Who am I?
Wow, is that really me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Plexiderm. All it takes is 10 minutes to reduce the appearance of under eye bags, wrinkles, and crow's feet. The instant results are from naturally based silicates found in shell clay. Once applied, your skin tightens and firms. Take action with our Plexiderm 10 minute challenge. Try it today for only $14.95, plus get free shipping. Visit plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. When two family pets are killed by sheriff's deputies, they got out their AKs in a residential neighborhood and proceeded to shoot. Viewers asked us to find out why. They're running around and just playing. Apple Valley News Now digs deeper. No one got hurt. There was no dog fights. Trying to get answers. The dogs didn't do anything. We prioritize human life over a dog. Local news you need from people you trust. Apple Valley News Now, always on your side. By the time I was six, I knew I wanted to be a firefighter. <laughs> What we do is hard. On the body. On the mind. We're family. And I am so proud to answer the call with you right beside me. You're going to Hollywood. Watch Tonight at 8 on Apple Valley News Now. Sponsored locally by Prosser Memorial Health, your five-star rated hospital. This is how we care. Friday, April 12th, the Dust Devils Battle Spokane on Apple Valley News Now's Family Feast Night. We want you to win tickets. To enter, click on contests at applevalleynewsnow.com. The Dust Devils Family Feast Night. See you at the game. Fly the Northwest over a state fish hatchery. Apple Valley News Now at 6, Tuesday. Cases of mpox are rising in the U.S. while vaccinations to protect against the virus are lagging. In today's Health Minute, Mandy Gaither has a look at the latest data and explains what those at high risk can do to protect themselves. In the U.S., mpox vaccinations are low, but the number of cases is climbing. The CDC says there have been 511 reported this year through March 16th. That's about 70% higher than they were at this time last year. We're not even halfway through the, the year, so the concern is that those numbers may increase. Dr. Jared Fox with Orlando Health says anyone can get the disease, which is a less severe cousin of the eradicated smallpox virus, but men who have sex with men are at greater risk. It spreads through close contact. The numbers are still far below the tens of thousands of cases in 2022, but after a quieter year last year, experts say the U.S. is vulnerable for two reasons. The amount of federal resources available to manage the public health response has been cut, and the CDC says in most states, less than a quarter of the population at risk has been fully vaccinated with the two-dose series since it was authorized for emergency use in August 2022. It's highly effective um, at preventing um, disease and especially preventing complications associated with um, NPOX. In December, the CDC also warned about another subtype of this virus that's been found in Africa that spreads more easily and causes more severe disease than the one from the 2022 outbreak. We want to get the word out that um, if you're in the high risk um, populations that are um, have been most affected by the NPOX, that you um, get vaccinated. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. Flood watches, heavy rain, and downed trees. Up next is which areas across the country are being hit with this? ET and Extra, tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Extra, extra. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DUE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health, don't wait, call today. Interrogations are a slow burn. Question after question, hour after hour. You can see the click, 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 click. Well, he finally broke. It was surreal. The Interrogation Tapes premieres tonight on ABC. Want to drive? Really? Most of us agree our roads are safer when we put away our phones. 
but we still have some people to reach. So spread the message and set the example because that's how we make the road a safer place for you and your loved ones. Together, we get there. Are you waking up in the morning with a sore jaw, headaches, maybe even ringing in your ears, all because you're grinding and clenching your teeth at night? That's exactly what was going on with me. That's when I found this, the Brux Night Guard. Now the Brux Night Guard redirects the bite force away from the back teeth, reducing jaw pain while still protecting the teeth. This unique design is what makes Brux Night Guard different from all other traditional grind guards. Go to BruxNightGuard.com and order yours today. Are you ready for some spring fishing? We do regular brook trout, we do uh, brown trout, and we also do some uh, tiger trout. Visit a hatchery where many Washington lakes get trout. Fly the Northwest, Apple Valley News Now at 6, Tuesday. Weather-wise, it's been kind of a strange winter with lots of clouds and more rain than usual. Now it's springtime and we're all looking forward to some great Northwest weather. But a pop-up rain shower or blowing dust can change your plans. So trust Apple Valley News Now. First alert weather to give you plenty of warning of what's headed our way because we want no weather surprises. Trust Stacy Lee and Apple Valley News Now. First alert weather. Apple Valley News Now. First alert weather on your side. Always on your side. Everybody wants to talk about it. Are you sure you want this? We deserve this. Big trauma coming into the back lot. You could get me out of this, right? I am scrubbing in. I'm leaving you in very capable hands. I have five rules. We Does your phone have the Apple Valley News Now app? With top local stories, first alert weather, and an easy way to enter our contests. Make Apple Valley News Now your go-to information app. Search and download on the App Store or Google Play. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Tiffany Savona. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. We are going to stay dry today, but yesterday was the last day of the month and we did add some rain last week. So our monthly total went up and the deficit went down in many spots, which is good news. Tri-Cities ended up with four tenths of an inch of rain, so we're a little over a quarter of an inch below average. And this is just for the month of March. Yakima, just over a half an inch. We're pretty much on target there, Walla Walla over one inch, but we're close to an inch below average for Walla Walla, and then about a three quarters of an inch in Hermiston, pretty much on target for Hermiston as well, and Pendleton, 1.08 inches, about a quarter of an inch below average. So March was pretty typical for many areas. Unfortunately, the foothills of the Blues did not get as much rain as they typically do, and we don't have any rain in the forecast today or even tomorrow as high pressure is in control, and that's going to allow the pollen count to continue to go up. So tree pollen is still our most predominant pollen this time of year. Today, tomorrow, Wednesday, those pollen levels likely in that high category. And then with our cooler weather arriving and rain chances returning, those pollen levels will start to drop Thursday and Friday. So we should get some relief there. Temperatures right now are in the 30s and 40s. We're at 46 in Tri-Cities, 44 Connell, 39 in Dayton, 43 Walla Walla, 44 in Toppenish and Yakima. Good morning, waking up to 34 degrees. We do have some clouds moving in from the north, kind of following this area of high pressure there. You can see them kind of shifting in from the north and northwest. But high pressure firmly in control of our weather pattern today. That's going to keep us warm and dry. Now, this ridge of high pressure is overhead tomorrow, so tomorrow will be our warmest day but it'll also be our last warm day because we're watching this next storm system offshore. Look at that large dip in the jet stream. We see that storm system bringing us rain chances starting on Wednesday as we see a pattern change and we'll get a couple of days where we're much cooler than average and the weather pattern stays pretty unsettled. Let's not worry about that. Let's worry about the 70s today. Another beautiful afternoon across the Columbia Basin, 72 Tri-City, 71 in Hermiston, 68 Walla Walla, and 72 in Yakima. Mainly clear 
Chilly again tonight as temperatures fall into the lower 40s for the most part. 40 in Tri-Cities, 42 Walla Walla, 43 in Prosser, and 42 degrees in Hermiston. Tomorrow we're going to be near record highs. How about highs around 80 in Tri-Cities, Prosser, 81 at Hanford. I know this may be too warm for some of you this early in the year. We already saw our first 80 degree day a few weeks ago in Tri-City. So we could do it again. 81 top and ish, 78 in Yakima. We should get close to 80 in Walla Walla. We'll put it at 77. 70 forecast showing that after that 80 tomorrow, we're, ju we're dropping, not jumping, dropping rather. Almost 20 degrees, 62 on Wednesday with a few showers possible. And then 50s, a little bit of a shock to the system Thursday, Friday before we see another warm up by the weekend. 72 in Yakima today, 78 tomorrow. And then we're in the upper 50s on Wednesday with more clouds and a few showers possible Thursday and Friday. Walla Walla, Foothills of the Blues have better chances for more widespread rain Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And look at those temps. They drop into the 50s. We'll be in the 40s most of the day, Thursday and Friday. Hermiston, 79 today, or 71 today, 79 tomorrow. Enjoy it because we have rainy weather moving back in by the middle to end of the week. Riley, back to you. Thank you, Tiffany. Over the weekend, more than 20 million people in Southern California were under flood watches. Heavy rains flooded roads, downed trees, and complicated travel. Allison Kosick says that the same weather system is making its way across the country. Heavy rain on Highway 101 in Southern California made for difficult travel conditions. This car spitting out, moments later, a second car crashing into it. Thankfully, no major injuries were reported. In Long Beach, the rain and gusty winds brought down this eucalyptus tree collapsing on a home with a mother and her son inside. Neither was injured. And near Big Sur, parts of Highway 1 were forced to close after a 10-foot section of the southbound lane collapsed into the ocean. Back in January, hundreds of homes were damaged by flooding in this San Diego neighborhood. This weekend's heavy rains have residents worried. We're traumatized because of when we see this kind of rain, it feels like it's going to happen again. In the San Bernardino Mountains, snow and high winds making for treacherous driving conditions. Numerous vehicles stranded, drivers trying to dig out. That same system is now moving east. On Monday, severe thunderstorms possible from Texas to Ohio, bringing potentially damaging wind gusts, large hail, and possible tornadoes. Our attention turns to the middle of the country as the system slides a severe thunderstorm threat to the heartland. Cities like Dallas, Tulsa, and St. Louis on alert for a potential severe weather outbreak. It's going to be a rough start to the work week for so many. Later Monday evening and into Tuesday morning, flash flooding is possible amid heavy rains in parts of the Midwest and Ohio River Valley. Flood watch is in effect from Indiana to West Virginia. Allison Kosick, ABC News, New York. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, a police chase unlike you've ever seen before by a front loader, front end loader going 30 miles per hour had police officers going in circles. The video you don't want to miss. That's next. Life can be hard. With Culligan, your water doesn't have to be. The savings continue with Bymart's latest savings book. Find it online or pick up a copy in store. Save more storewide on everything you need for spring and more at Bymart. Northwest employee owned for 20 years. Make your first move with battery power made by steel. Right now, save $50 on the KMA 80R combi motor or the HSA 50 hedge trimmer. Real steel. When it comes to floors, quality matters, period. Quality is what makes the difference in floors, and it's what you can expect from the best products Empire today carries. Quality is stain and soil technology to help protect your floors from everyday accidents. Quality is water resistance, where and when you need it most. It's a durable finish that keeps scratches from leaving lasting damage. It's floors that are manufactured in America, keeping jobs close to home. 
Quality is knowing your floors are made by some of the best flooring brands in the world. And when life happens, quality is having peace of mind that your floors are backed by some of the best warranties around. If an issue does arise, just call us. We service all warranties ourselves so you can avoid the hassle of having to track down the manufacturer. Knowing Empire handpicks long-lasting and durable products is what makes getting new floors easy. Save $350 on your next project. Call this special number now. 1-844-254-8536. On behalf of STCU, we want to present you with this $1,000 check. Joe McDonald volunteered at the Pasco Aviation Museum, and although he is gone, his dedication to the museum lives on, earning them a $1,000 check from STCU. He was very particular and did all the research, so the information that's in the display cases were, were absolutely accurate. STCU honors volunteers in our community. To nominate someone, click on Volunteers Count at applevalleynewsnow.com. Springtime in the Northwest, a great time to get outdoors. But a pop-up rain shower or blowing dust can change your plans. No matter where you live in our part of the Northwest, trust Stacy Lee and Apple Valley News Now First Alert Weather. Always on your side. Next ET, only we're in France for a VIP tour of Vanderpump Villa. Plus, meet the sexy staff. Very entertaining. Well, entertaining isn't always the word I would use. Next ET, tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Watch live with Kelly and Mark weekdays at 9. Good morning and welcome back. Here is your close to home forecast. We're starting off in the 40s for the most part across the Columbia Basin this morning. It's 46 in Tri-Cities, 43 Walla Walla, 35 in Hermiston, 38 Prosser, and 34 in Yakima. Now today, winds will be fairly light out of the southwest. It's going to be a beautiful afternoon. Highs in the lower 70s in Yakima, 75 in Toppenish. Cleallum, only in the 60s, but not bad. Ellensburg, up to 70, 73 in Sunnyside. Tri-City, 72, 72 in Prosser and at Hanford. 71 in Hermiston, 68 degrees. Moses Lake and 68 in Connell. And then along the foothills of the Blue, just a few degrees cooler, but still very nice. 48, or not 48, 68 rather in Walla Walla, 66 in Dayton, 67 Milton Freewater, and 67 degrees in Pendleton. Riley, back to you. Thank you, Tiffany. A police chase in Georgia came to an end with what we're calling the clash of the front end loaders. A stolen piece of equipment had officers scrambling to figure out how to stop it. CNN's GD Moose reports. Stop. How do you stop? Stop. Hey! A front end loader leading Gwinnett County, Georgia police on a slow speed chase. He's going to go out on the main road. Dick, watch your dick. Keep ready. Police say the suspect had been fired from a waste management business six months ago, but returned and took off in the front end loader, making U turns. Police in their much lighter vehicles were unable to stop it until they got a front end loader of their own. An officer went back to the waste management company and picked one out. How fast is it? They can get, they can get up probably about 30. Okay, grab that. The employee got behind the wheel. Police escorted him to catch up with the tractor being chased. So it was sort of like a battle with front end loaders. Two 75,000 pound machines, one trying to stop the other one. Five miles from where they started. This is unbelievable. It's wrong, it's wrong. <laughs> the second front loader blocked the first. Officers yelled instructions. Flip it, flip it. Flip it. If you can flip it, flip it. Oh. It was like a cross between Transformers <laughs> and Aliens. And robot wars. Once flipped, police were able to arrest.